Hey guys, I'll be going back to our basis on embryology. Uh, today we'll be discussing um, the differences between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Okay, meiosis, some people call it meiosis, okay? Uh, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. So, our screen here is a diagrammatic representation of uh, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Okay? So you could see it, um, you see where uh, the two processes become different, okay? See where they become different. So I think, um, but I would prefer using this image as here. I see that um, meiosis 1 is like from um, interface to telophase, okay? Why uh, meiosis 2 is from the, um, um, the prophase 2 to uh, the telophase 2. Okay, so let's go. Uh, the differences we said that uh, the first difference is, is uh, meiosis one produces what two daughter cells, why uh, meiosis two produces what four daughter cells. You can see um, the end product of meiosis one is what two daughter cells, why the end product of meiosis two is what two daughter cells on this side and two daughter cells on this side, making it four daughter cells. And um, in meiosis one there is synapse between chromosomes whereas in meiosis 2 there is no such synapses okay so the synapse between um two chromosomes you could see there's a joint all right there's a joint that's a synapse all right that's a joint between um the first uh, the other chromosome and the other chromosome in meiosis 2 but you could see that in meiosis 3 there's a complete division between the daughter cells okay so there is no synapse in meiosis 2. Then the third difference, you see that um, in anaphase 1, there is separation of what chromosomes without division of the central mare, okay? Uh, Why anaphase, there is some um, separation of what chromosomes with divisions of chromos of, of, uh, of central mare, okay? So um, basically, guys, sorry, um, I think this is anaphase 2, okay? So in anaphase 2, there is separation of chromosomes with division of central mare. So let's let's look from our image here, and um, you could see that uh, there is separation of the chromosomes. Okay, that's in anaphase two. All right. Why in um, anaphase one you could see and um, there is what independent assortment. There is no separation of um, chromosomes. Okay, there is no uh, chromosomal division. Okay, of the central mare. In anaphase one okay so some things you just take them like that and maybe find better images that can further explain better for you okay so um this follows that in um meiosis one uh, meiosis one is diploid okay why meiosis two is what haploid this just have to like um another way of um defining the division you see at the end of meiosis one there's some um, two chromosomes joined together all right so that's make it diploid why in uh, meiosis two there's complete division or complete separation of all the chromosomes okay so um that makes it if there's a complete separation that makes it one okay that's haploid okay so um genetic shuffling occurs in meiosis one whereas genetic shuffling is, is absent in meiosis two let me explain this this concept you see that in meiosis one the end product the two chromosomes are still joined by a synapse okay so that means there could be a shuffling of genes between these two chromosomes why in meiosis two there is complete separation so if there is complete separation how could there be a shuffling when there is complete separation okay so when there is complete separation there is definitely absence of genetic shuffling okay so these guys, um, those are the differences between meiosis one and meiosis two. Okay. So hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. And bye for now.